Hey y'all, so glad that you're here. Welcome back to Twin Oaks Family Farm. Doing a quick video to show you a little group of young hens that are referred to as pullets. That's the season of life that they're in. And pullets just means a young hen that's not laying eggs yet. So a pullet is a young hen that's not mature enough to be laying eggs yet. When these hens get to that stage, we'll say that they're at the point of lay, when they actually start laying eggs. And then after they are laying eggs and, and uh, the size and the quality of the eggs is, is you know, becoming consistent, then that's when I call them full-fledged laying hens. But they are pullets, and that refers to the stage of life, the maturity. Uh, so we're just going to do a quick video on on these pullets, on the kind of bird that they are, and the traits that this kind of bird is known for. They are definitely intended to be efficient, good egg layers. So that's why we have them here. We want to add them into our small egg production operation. I'm going to turn the camera around for just a few moments and uh, say hello to everybody. So. Hey y'all, it's Melissa, and I appreciate you joining us on our YouTube channel, Twin Oaks Farm Poultry. We did take a break from our YouTube platform. I think the last video that we did was December 28, 2023, so we took a break over the holidays. We hope you had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We've been celebrating the traditions and enjoying what we call the sacrament of the present moment, really connecting with the people immediate in our lives, person to person, face to face and the events that are going on in our lives. So uh, we also took opportunity to tie up some of the loose ends of 2023 and we're in the process of organizing the plans for 2024. Here at our little farm, it's, it's really just our home place. We've been here over 20 years. We've started raising meat chickens. We've always had some egg chickens. My husband's family farms cattle and crops. So we have a life that's based in faith, family, and farming, and a lifestyle that's agricultural and rural. And so with our YouTube channel, we focus really on our small poultry operation. And in that operation, our goals are to produce top quality poultry, to provide excellent quality of life for our livestock, which in this case is our chickens, and to promote agriculture in our area but also beyond from the perspective of encouraging folks to connect to farmers wherever local is for all of us so uh so that's what we're doing we did have that break from our youtube platform but we're happy to be back at it we had some goals with it in december that we didn't really end up developing we were going to you know do some videos on some other topics but we're, we're going to try to just stick to the poultry, the, the egg chickens for now, because we don't have meat chickens here again until probably about March this year. So we're gonna try to do about, I think about 1,500 birds, meat birds, Cornish Rock Cross meat chickens, in uh, five flocks. So it's, it's not split up exactly 300 in each flock, and we might decide to do less than that, but that's, that's kind of what we're working around with numbers right now. And in fact, this evening yet, we're going to have household farm planning meeting here at our home with uh, my husband, myself, and our three sons that are 16 to 20 years old. And, and that's how, how we operate. That's how we roll. It's, it's a family effort. And uh, that, that really helps out a lot because it, it is a way that we can work together. One person couldn't do this by themselves. We all have off-farm work that we do and as I said there's there's my husband's family's farm and so that's something that they're have my husband and sons are heavily involved in um, and occasionally we probably will throw in a truck video because we love trucks so <laughs> especially old trucks but thanks for joining us let's talk about these little gals they've gone back here in a corner I'm actually gonna walk around the lighting's gonna get bad sorry I we're, we're in a shed, we're in a, like a barn. I can't really do anything about it, but we're gonna turn the camera around. We're actually gonna try to get them to move a little bit because uh, they get back here in this corner and it's real shadowy and that's where they wanna stand. But these little gals are so, so pretty. So they were born, they were born, they were hatched 
about the end of October 2023. So we, so now it's January 9th, 2024. So we are looking for them to potentially be at the point of lay, like mature enough to ready to, to um, be laying eggs, maybe around 16, I'm gonna say 16 to 20 weeks old. We don't know, I haven't had this kind of bird before. I would, I would refer to this bird, product, their production reds is the type or the breed, and I would refer to them as a type rather than a breed because they're actually a specialization of Rhode Island reds and New Hampshire reds that are crossed to produce a super efficient and excellent egg layer. So we would expect these gals to lay brown eggs of a good size so I, I'm gonna say we're expecting probably large brown eggs from them with strong shells and that's what they've been bred for we get great egg laying genetics from those two breeds the Rhode Island red and the New Hampshire red and they've combined those genetics just from just by selective breeding for getting these production reds. And so, uh, we'll see if they'll move around a little bit more. They've eaten, but they're beautiful and they've already got a little bit of something to drink here at their water dispenser. Uh, our temperatures aren't super cold. We've been in the 30s and 40s, but we do have a heat lamp on for them. It gives them a place to go set under if they need to warm up. Next week here in rural Southeast Ohio is supposed to be super cold teens, single digits, and below zero. So we will be having to work on keeping water thawed, keeping birds warm uh, next week during January of 2024. I hope I've said the year right. It is, it's January of 2024, and I hope I've said that right each time I've referred to it. But uh, some more just uh, qualities of these production reds. We are, like I said, expecting large brown eggs, strong shells from them. They're expected to live five to eight years range. And uh, boy, we're getting a lot of wind. Now you can see this building is wood inside and a metal exterior and a metal roof. Um, but we're feeling, we're feeling the wind pick up outside, even in here. We're, we're getting some dust blowing around. But anyway, we're getting a hard rain, a lot of rain. Um, so these production reds, calm, docile birds, expected to get along well with other breeds of birds. I don't know how well it's coming across on the video. The color of their feathers is gorgeous. One of our sons said they look burgundy, they look maroon, and I think they look almost chocolate feathered, but they are considered, you know, red feathered, but that red can be shaded from light to almost chocolate. So there's 12 of them. They're real pretty. Um, you know, we have those Isa Browns that also have Rhode Island red genetics in them, and they began laying eggs at 16 weeks old. So I won't be at least a bit surprised if these production reds would do the same if we'd see them start to be at the point of lay where they're going to lay eggs around four months old. But it could be longer. We're just going to wait that out and wait and see. But I'm um, real excited about these gals. They've been here at Twin Oaks Family Farm for about a week. They're getting settled in, and we'll wrap it up by showing you what they're eating. They're eating a crumble. What we call a crumble is the consistency and texture. It is grain-based. This is produced by Kalmbach Feeds out of Ohio, and we, we get it at a, a local feed mill here that uh, can bring in prepared feeds like these, but also can mill their own feed. But this is just poultry feed by Kalmbach Feeds. It's a 19% protein and we're feeding it out of 50 pound bags. That's the protein level we want for these young hens, these pullets to start them on as they grow into the maturity. And then when they're at the point of lay, we'll reduce that protein. Thanks for joining us, y'all. God bless ya.